Hi guys, Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips, calling to you, calling, uh, uh, talking to you from Simcoe Diving in the village of Barrie, up on Lake Simcoe in Ontario, Canada. We're talking today about whether or not O2 cleaning is necessary. Here is an O2 tank. I know it's an O2 tank because it says O2 right on it. Nitrox. Yes, nitrox, which is short for enriched air. Enriched air nitrox. Okay. Now that that means is that this tank has been especially clean. It's not just had a normal cleaning, not just a normal visual with the cleaning. This has a nitrox clean sticker on it. It says right on there that this cylinder has been visually inspected to so many standards and suitable for oxygen service. Okay, so this tank can be used for nitrox if you're going to be diving with enriched air. Here's the question. Is it necessary for you to have your tanks cleaned for nitrox service? And here's the controversy. I love controversial topics. I get lots of comments. People get a few here from dive stores. Because dive stores, you know, it's a, it's a fairly substantial charge to, uh, to uh, clean a tank for oxygen use. And uh, they make a fair bit of money from that. They don't want to give it up. The short answer is no. Not necessarily. You don't necessarily need to have your tank cleaned if you're using nitrox. <laughs> Why do I say that? All right. The tank needs to be cleaned if it's going to be subjected to 100% oxygen. In fact, it really should be cleaned for oxygen service if it's going to be, if it's going to be used for higher than 40% oxygen. At those concentrations, higher than 40% and certainly 100%, any impurities, any oil, anything inside the tank that might be flammable or might increase temperature for a variety of ways, ignition, uh, uh, a variety of ways, in an oxygen-rich environment could be very, very dangerous, could be a real problem. But note what I said. It's only essential if the oxygen level is 100%, or more specifically, let's be more specific, if it's above 40%. So what's the problem here? Well, well in most cases, your tank will never get 100% oxygen in it. And it's very seldom, if ever, it'll get higher than 40%. That's right. When you go into a dive store and you say, hey, I want to make a nitrox dive this afternoon. I'm going to be diving on 35 feet. Da -da -da -da. I want a 32%. In most cases, that dive store will put 32% oxygen in. That means air, instead of being at 21%, well, that's 32%. He'll have about 10% more oxygen by volume than, than normal. So the guy goes and he hooks up your tank to the, the stick or to his banked uh, air Whatever system he's using, he'll hook it up and he'll fill your tank to 3,000 psi at 32%. This particular tank, and then he'll mark it, he'll sticker it. So because you can't tell in there what percentage is in there, and the percentage is important. So usually he'll put a piece of tape on there, and you can see there, Kevin, this particular tank was filled to 30.3. It's not even 32, it's probably, this is probably going to be a 30%, 30.3, uh, which has an MOD, maximum operating depth, of 124 feet. Well, we're not going to know 124 feet, that's not the point. So this, this tank has air at, at 30%. Well, that's a long, a long ways from uh, 100%. That's a heck of a long ways from even 40%. So this tank is perfectly safe at 30.3, 30% enriched air. It's even safe if it wasn't clean for oxygen cleaning. So why do dive stores insist that you have an oxygen clean? They insist you have this sticker and, and the visual on it. Well, first of all, I already mentioned money. Secondly, there are a number of dive stores, and still a good number of dive stores, because at one time it was the most common method, inexpensive and easy, to use what's called the partial pressure system to fill your tank. The partial pressure system of filling a tank, a nitrox tank, getting enriched air, the partial pressure system, uh, does use pure oxygen. Yeah. They, there's this very simple mathematical formula, and they you, so you come into the store and say, hey, my tank has got 500 PSI in it, and I want it filled to 3,000 PSI, and I want 32%. So they just punch those figures in. They check, first of all, to make sure that your tank only has 500. So they punch in 500, starting pressure. They punch in 300, finished pressure. They punch in uh, uh, current uh, uh, oxygen level, which they test quickly, they test, and so let's say it's 21% regular air level, and then they punch in what you want, what they say, 32%. So they got the four numbers. They put them into a formula, and out spits the answer. It says, the answer says, step one, fill the tank to, let's pick a number, 500 PSI. No, it's already at five. So they fill the tank to 900 PSI with pure oxygen. So you do that. And then step two, 
fill the tank to 3,000 PSI using oxygen-compatible air. So you do that. Now, if you do that, you now have a tank filled to 3,000 PSI at 32%. It's tested pressure and level to make sure that it worked properly, and it does, and out you go. Using that particular system, think back for a moment, what I just said a minute ago, you put in 100% oxygen into the tank. That's right, 100% oxygen. Even though it had some air in it, you're still putting in 100%. So 100% oxygen goes through the valve, down near the tank, and mixes in there. Now, if the tank was almost empty, you put in 100% oxygen. Now you have oxygen all over all the surfaces inside the tank. So anything in there that might be a problem, that in the presence of pure oxygen could be a problem. Create heat, ignition, that can be a problem. But that only applies to the partial pressure method partial pressure method. All of the systems don't do that. They put in the level of oxygen, nitrox, enriched air, that you asked for. So if you have a dive store that uses the stick, and you have to read about that, although I did have a short video about that, or you have a dive store that uses banked enriched air, they may have a big tank full of 32, already pre-mixed, and you want 32, and you go, well, oxygen, there's no oxygen going in there. No, 32 goes in from any of those systems. And there are other systems as well. There's a membrane system and so on. And they put 32 in. 32 is perfectly safe to use without cleaning. Hey, that's not a bad idea to clean it. But it's not necessary. Some dive stores will argue, and even some tech divers will argue. But the simple fact of the matter is, from a pure physical and chemical point of view, if you're only using low-level enriched air, and you're always getting pre-mixed enriched air, oxygen cleaning of your tank is not that necessary. Let's see how many comments I get about that. <laughs> this should be fun. Anyway, there you go. Just some thoughts from Alec Pierce Scuba Tech Tips from Simcoe Diving in Lake Simcoe. Wow, how about that? Okay, see you.